Steve, we had a good night up in uh, Durham uh, on Saturday night. Uh, seven fight card and seven good fights, mate. Yeah, do you know what? I was happy with it. It's a great venue, as we say, and everything aesthetically looks good. Um, only three VIP fighters on it, which was disappointing when you put all, all that hard work into a show. But to be fair, all the others turned up and uh, made it a good night. I mean, it started off with Greg O'Neill, which you correct, like you told me previously, that uh, that was a comeback after a yeah. bit of time out. And, uh, he got what he wanted, which was the win against Josh Cook, who, who always uh, makes it awkward for you, did not he? And, and, and that was that, and uh, a win for Greg O'Neill, so he, he moves on, and obviously uh, he's welcome on any of our shows. We've got three books for the Durham next year, so uh, see where he goes. Probably he'd be looking for area titles at least, won't he, Greg? Yeah. yeah. And when you look, consider the people he's been in with, you know, uh, that was perhaps his first proper learning fight. Because uh, every other time he's been thrown in the deep end. Yeah, and then Leon Musson uh, against Jordan Gannon. Uh, thought it was a real good fight, actually. Well, you know, uh, that, that Leon put it on him. Uh, didn't realise, I think, how good Jordan was, and uh, you know he wasn't going to get him out of there. And uh, I think um, Jordan did what he always did, didn't he? You know, um, give the kids four good rounds and. Yeah. Uh, Taught him some um, moves and things that they'll help him as he moves forward. He's so, one of our favourites, isn't he? He's, he's yeah, yeah, so good he's value a, for money. Good fighting for him there. And then probably, um, maybe the fight of the night, Jason Cumming um, with the Brazilian, Rod Rodrigo. Uh, I like Jason Cumming. You know, I do. Just got his square shoulders, tightens them up, walks forward and lets his hands go, didn't he? And, and lots, uh, lots of times as well. And, and I seen him afterwards getting some pictures took with his mate and, and uh, his T-shirt's called The Engine and uh, that's what he is, he's non-stop action, isn't he? he is. And uh, Rodrigo's a good fighter and he put some manners on him uh, a couple of times, didn't he? Yeah. Um, so, well, I, I, yeah. That in the heavyweight was probably arguably argue the, the fights, fights of the night, yeah, weren't they? Yeah, I think there's a bit more quality in, in, the, in, in the coming fight, but yes. uh, we'll come on to one there. Rowan Stanley did really good with Victor Gaga. Three um, times? Got a... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if he did put him over three know. times, but uh, I think once when he did, they didn't count it. I was going to say, did, didn't yeah. count it. Yes, I think he was but, in the third uh, round, his glove yeah. touched the floor, yeah. and I thought that was the most legitimate knockdown out of the three that had already previously been given, but it was never given. Yeah, yeah, but you know what, I mean, he, he's only a novice rowing, but uh, he dealt with the, uh, the Gaga test as good as anyone I've seen, you know what yeah. I mean? And uh, I was pleased for him there. And then Adam Mike had um, six round, had just, just come back off a long layoff, and uh, he, he, he boxed really well against Owen Durham, who you can see he's um, he was a, top a quality kid. and. Yeah. Uh, First couple of rounds, Adam was all over him, but he kind of worked him out and um, you know slowed the pace down a little bit. And uh, again, I think he gives Adam a lot to think about, which which, which was good, and uh, it'd, be, it'd be a great learn, learning fight for Adam that one. It was, you've got you've got Owen on quite a few of our shows, matched up with some of our prospects, and I think it'll be a great yeah, test for them all. Yeah, yeah, I think he's decided to. Uh, do what Jordan's done, you know, go and learn the lads and um, bring them all on, which is good. Yeah, we'll have the um, Great Mark fire. Riggs, who, who uh, <laughs> I've not seen before. Um, yeah, Will, Will doesn't mess about, does he? He uh, doesn't move his head, just walk forward, <laughs> you hit me, I hit you, and uh, he, he's good. A real crowd pleaser, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he he was, was, last time you fought, if you remember, fight. on our show, yeah. it was a real crowd pleaser. Yeah, yeah, I believe see, the fight that he had prior to yeah. that uh, on yeah. someone else's show was, was no, I don't think same. he can help me in, in, in entertaining <laughs> fights, and uh, I think, uh, you know, it's a dangerous thing to do, fighting heavyweight, but, you know, uh, I heard the commentator announce him and, and everything he'd won in the amateurs. I didn't realise he, he, he'd he achieved a lot. so much in there, Will. Yeah. So, you know, um, he, he must like a fight. Must and he's only 22 as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. No, yeah. The, the Borough Ball Bowler, he, he calls himself. <laughs> and yeah, no, he was, it was a real good fight, entertaining. And then, obviously, Al Absavis um, topped the bill, eight rounds at the finish, and uh, got. Eight, I don't want to say hard rounds, but he worked hard, didn't he? And yeah. uh, 
But in the bank now, that's two eight rounds as he, 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 he's managed to, to get out after stopping a few early. So he's doing no harm whatsoever. And, you know, uh, after a couple of rounds, you didn't think that Gratty was going to get through because he'd been yeah, hurt a couple of times. But, but he does do. Yeah, he knows, <laughs> he he knows what yeah. to do to get around. Spits his gum shield out quite a few times, doesn't he? Flew, flew out to give him a bit of a breather. But, but fair play to him, he was taking a bit of pace there. He was. And, uh, someone mentioned to me afterwards, even though he took a bit of pace, he didn't have a mark on him. So uh, he's obviously a, a, a tough fella. But, but from some of his point of view, he, he, he was good. He's got eight rounds out where he's. He's worked solid and, you know, he's worked hard to try and stop him, hasn't he? And uh, I think anything he can learn from that is to be a bit, little bit cuter when he's coming and use his jab a little more, make, make the opening. But, uh, no, it's hard to, to, to complain. I don't want to complain about it. But uh, what, what I'm saying is that's why we do these fights, to, yeah. to learn and, 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 and get them ready for when they're in tough, tough title fights which Travis undoubtedly will be but Travis yeah. is a bit like the kid you mentioned before Jason Cummins he's mm. got a high uh, output you know he's an engine isn't he yeah. and it's nice to see that he can keep that pace from round one all the way through to round eight because if you can get him that title shot like you want to get him yeah. Uh, then he's going to be doing 10, 12 rounds isn't he next year yeah yeah listen by the end of next year he'll be in um, serious title fights you know mm. what I mean English, British at least so uh I'm looking forward to 2025 for Trav. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of three shows in three weeks. Wow. So, uh, I'm grateful for the break for the next few weeks before I come back uh, November 23rd, two Bingo. titles in um, Farnworth. November the 24th, sorry, November the 30th, big show in Bolton, 12-5, three, three titles. titles. And, uh, you know, really looking forward to announcing them and letting everyone know what, what to look forward to. Right, nice one, Steve. Cheers, thank uh, you. See you later, mate. Bye. 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 For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.